Hi, my name's Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our BMW X5. Then I'll take you for a ride in it. But first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a 3.0-litre D M Sport Auto X-Drive. Euro 6 engine, 2018 on an 18 plate. Has done 31,203 miles. Fuel economy, urban 41.5 miles per gallon. Extra urban 51.4 miles per gallon and combined is 47.1 miles per gallon. Has a top speed of 142 miles an hour out of a six cylinder, 254 brake horsepower, 24 valve engine. Um, I'm not sure how the audio is gonna be today. It's blowing a gale. I'll. Uh, I've got two microphones up here, but I'll play some audio from the camera. <laughs> I've had to splay the tripod legs out so the, the camera won't blow over. So bear with me if the audio is not so good, sorry. So we've got these protective mouldings around the wheel arches or kind of flared wheel arches. Look, look pretty good. Um, power folding door mirrors have the vents here, the M Sport badges, multi-spoke alloys. And it's got a really good set of uh, Bridgestone jewellers on it too. I'm starting to wish I'd stayed in bed this morning. <laughs> High pressure headlamp wash. The nice BMW grill before it's gone massive and horrible. Front parking sensors. The LED side running lights. D-chrome around the windows. Roof bar carrier system, tilt and slide panoramic roof, rear privacy glass, de-chromed, the sill protectors there, integrated rear tailgate spoiler, reversing camera under this lip at the back here, power open closed tailgate and you've also got this fold down flap makes it easier for your dogs to get in and out and easier for loading too. It's also got a six and seven seat in the back, which I'll, I'll tell you a bit more about in a, in a short while. And then we've got the rear roller blind load cover. Reversing sensors in the bumper there and the twin chrome exhaust tips. Lovely in the back here, this brushed aluminium trim, uh, inset to the dash and the gear tunnel and the door cards, all nice. Lovely in the back, as I say, uh, doesn't look like it's been sat in. It's got the carpet over mats, these hard flap magazine um, pockets, rather than the netting that always goes saggy and looks horrible. You've got your own climate control settings in the back here as well so that's nice too seats are pretty straight up central armrest cup holders little place to put oddments in there the isofix rear char seat anchor points uh, plenty of headroom it's black interior but it's not too claustrophobic with this big pan roof um, over the top here the, the blind is actually folded a little bit little way forward so it's darker than it would normally be and then you've got the two seats in the back there that just fold out to the floor as per usual with um, kind of part-time seven seaters you'd lose a bit of load space it's not built to be a seven seater all the time but just occasionally so it, I think the, I think the door's going to blow shut on my camera in a second so I'm going to have to cut this short <laughs> so that's the back anyway I'll just take you for a ride in it. Okay, those of you with more powers of observation will probably have noticed a bit of a continuity error there. I was getting in with a coat on and a hoodie and I'm in my shirt now. Well, the reason for that is um, my GoPros. It just take me uh, 40 minutes to try and there was an update on them the other day and since then 
this one won't switch on. I've just tried two batteries in it. The screen just goes, well, it, it switches on for a, about 30 seconds and then switches off again. Um, it's, <laughs> well, it's, uh, let's put it this way. If I wasn't worried that a sheep would eat it, it would be out there somewhere or, or smashed to pieces. But, uh, yeah, GoPros. Been updated all the time, going off, not 12 months old. All the same technology that's in electric cars. Give me a diesel engine every time. Right. <laughs> I'm trying to get my blood pressure to go down. So, service history, 22nd of the 11th, 2019, at 12,718 miles, Brown and Partner Limited. 6th of 6, 2021, at 26,324 miles, Brown and Partner Limited. 15th of the 2nd, 2022, at uh, 30,592 miles, Brown and Partner Limited. And it's done 31,203 miles now. Um, it, it was the, this gentleman, he's had three of these, and he's bought a Range Rover off us. Um, it was time for a change, and um, <laughs> John was moaning that we'd just put four new tyres on uh, our Range Rover, and he says, "Well, <laughs> I've just put four new tyres on mine, so that they were <laughs> they were both unconsolable." Uh, anyway, it's got four four good tyres on it. I can tell you this: it's a it it is a lovely car as well, inside and outside. Um, it's a terrible day today. It was mint when I set off. Um, it's obviously, it's covered in kind of road grime now, and it's just, it, it was supposed to, oh mind you, 10 o'clock. The weather forecast is it was supposed to stop raining and just be cloudy at 10 o'clock. But uh, I, I don't know, I don't hold, hold out much hope. When, it, when it's nice up here, it's nice. When it's not, it's, it's horrid. So anyway, we'll, uh, we'll get going. Um, this car has got heads-up display. Let me just show you. It's got memory seats as well. I'll just do the second position. Well, the second position has only altered the steering wheel. So my my position, which I set before. Oh no! I've just I've just set it now. <laughs> I just pressed the wrong button. So anyway, it's it's like there you go. Let's just get it in some. We've got electric height and reach adjustable steering wheel as well. So set one, so that, that should be it. Mirrors are set, but it's also power folding door mirrors. I'm on a car park. I'll put my phone away. No, I'll do it later. Right, so let's get going. You've got electronic handbrake there. It's got auto hill hold. That's your eye control. One of the things that I would suggest you knock off straight away. This this has got. If you if you click this, the, the last time I used one of these, I couldn't switch the lane departure off, and it, it I mean, wobbles the steering wheel and all sorts, and tries to turn you back into the lane. Or the last one did, but I, I switched this one straight off. If you press that button, you can then from the iDrive look, lane departure warning, configuration. Warning, warning point early. It always, always cracks me up. Warning point early, medium or late. Uh, I, I don't know when you would classify as late, but anyway. So lane departure warning. We want that off. You've got pedestrian alert and collision warning. It, uh, it says there wa collision warning, warning and brake intervention. So I'm assuming it might even. Uh, you know, city braking, uh, it'll, it'll pull you up, halt you. Then the display, the, di the display is nice. That's navigation. Address, we'll go back to map, we don't, we don't want that. 
and uh, the wipers there. It, uh, it is in need of a set of wipers, I have to say. We've got uh, the heads up display there in the dash. It tells, at the moment it's telling me the speed I'm doing and also the traffic sign, the, the speed limit on this particular road, which I always find handy too. Well, only one sort of intermittent at the moment. Perhaps not. I'm pretty sure also if you set, well, let me, did I not click map back then? Map, that's what I want it on. Just turn it off. It's a nice steering wheel, nice thick steering wheel. It's also heated. The heated switch is there, just back from the um, electronically, uh, sorry, the electronic address adjustment switch. Wipers on the right, indicators on the left. We've got Harman Kardon speakers, it's Bluetooth hands free, Bluetooth audio streaming. Power closed tailgate, power open. Big tyres on these things, they look massive from the back. Climate control, heated seats here, which I've got on full at the moment, but need to turn down. I've now thawed out. There's your, you've got, you can either sync the two controls or you've got separate zones for the driver and passenger. We've, uh, we're just starting to steam up a little bit, so I'm gonna turn that on. As I say, if I now click sync, then it applies the same heat settings and fan settings to the passenger side as well and I can adjust them all from here. We've beat. Make sure nobody's coming around. No, we're okay. Uh, what was that? Um, I always think they're called the yellow something, but they're not. They're, they're grey, even though they're yellow. Grey finch, grey. Plenty of power in the engine. You've also got this efficient dynamics here. If I take my foot, right, I need to put my uh, sunglasses on with the camera in. We'll just stop here, even though it's not really sunglasses weather. Oh God, stop start as well. All right, so the stop start off is there. Switch my glasses on. Hopefully they're charged. Okay, so we'll get going. So I'll just show you the efficient dynamics. So there you go, on the dash here, if I take my foot off the accelerator, you'll see that that shoots into the blue. That's actually recharging the system or storing energy um, to be used when the, you, you put the vehicle under load. If you should be able to also see the heads up display there in the front screen. 
And then if I go to, so I'll just get that out of the way, go horse stuff. We've got settings, Eco Pro, efficient dynamics, hang on. Let me just do that. You'll see there Eco Pro, all the, the dash is blue. And then it's uh, showing when I take power, when I let go. I'll try and show you that when I'm going down. Oh, there's a little bit of a hill. Actually, let me just touch the brake. We'll see power there again. And when I touch the brake, there's nothing behind. You'll see it, uh, it's harvesting the, uh, the power. I'll just put, I'll go on to nav, I'll just put a, a recent destination in, which which is us anyway, and there we go, it's, it's giving you directions over here and also in the dash, you can see your next turn, the speed, So that's uh, that's the the heads up display is is a really great um, option I think I think it's well worth it. You don't have to take your eyes off the road, especially on here. Look, when you've got Milado here with his big trailer, I think no, this isn't the chap that nearly knocked me out the other day <laughs> with his coming up here with his trailer that was actually a lot wider than his car and not leaving me any room. <laughs> except to go on the grass. Turn this back on, actually. Please turn right in 200 yards. Prepare to make a U-turn. guidance off. That was very annoying. I wonder how many times you have to ignore, please make a U-turn if possible, before it realises that you're not going to make a U-turn. We've got the paddle shift here. I, I have to say, it is nicely finished, this car. I like the paddle shifts, the, the nice touch of aluminium on the edge of the panel, uh, paddle shift, and also around the steering wheel, your M Sport badge here. On the left hand side, you've got cruise control. So click on there, cruise control ready, flick up like so, and you'll see it's just set the speed, and you can increase just by pressing that thumb wheel up. Harman Kardon speakers, so that the sounds really good. That's it, Mrs. Pheasant, out of the way. I'll just, uh, I'll just run through these now. Here we go. So that's comfort, that's sport. That's Sport Plus, and you could you could probably hear there. Of course, there's a 
an extinction rebellion pheasant in the middle of the road there. But you see the the traction control is off and the dashboard is illuminated red. Not interested in that setting at all. All sport. Comfort's the one for me. The dash is showing you the fuel gauge. And amazingly, this, this car's got quite a lot of fuel in at the moment. Then your speedo. In the speedo, that's your, the, the, the traffic sign for the road you're on. So it's 60 miles an hour here. That's cruises just off at the moment. And there you go, there's your efficient dynamics. You can see it going into blue there in the rev counter. And then your coolant temperature. It's a nice car to drive, it's a, a sporty feel to it, uh, in, but yet it's a four-wheel drive, so you've got the elevated driving position. The seven seats so again handy, um, you don't need the seven seats, you've got the storage space and these back seats will fold down too. Over here, your electric window switches, and there your dormer switches. Right, there you go, just adjusting that one, and then click it over to the left. Just override the gear changes there with the paddle shift. Uh, it's definitely not a day for sunglasses today. Gear selector, if you knock the gear selector over like so, you can use it to change up and down like, like so. But the, the, the good thing is, and ducks in the little pond at the side. The good thing is with an engine like this, with the power, it's there all the time. You don't have to be in control of the gears. It, it will soon kick down if you want it to or need it to in any situation. And you can, you can just enjoy the drive. Which is, I'm just going to stop here where people can see me from up here. All right, so that one's your cameras. Is that the front or the back? The trouble with these cameras, oh, front. Those cameras, I think. Better put these back on again. So if I click this, if you look over there, so that's it. That that's hill descent. Oh yeah, this one works like the Range Rover, which. It's hardly surprising because I believe, <laughs> allegedly, when BMW had control of Range Rover, and I think it was Jeremy Clarkson who <laughs> said this, um, they, they nicked the Range Rover design team's hill descent function. So there you go, you can, you can go down and control the speed with the cruise control. Just knock that off. 
just do that again. Front camera, we've already established that. Absolutely ravenous today. What's new? finish the test drive subject to my cameras not having run out of battery after all that faffing about I'll uh, I'll show you how to delete a mobile how to pair a mobile and how to play music through the system but so long as your phone is paired to the system um, you can play iTunes or, or anything um, through the Harman Kardon speakers they're really good Great sound system. Even with the wipers slapping away. Oh. No, he, 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 he must have been able to see me coming there. You would have thought he'd, he'd have just like waited <laughs> and let me go. But no, I bet he's a cyclist as well. <laughs> he's, he's not. He's not big on indicators either. Blimey. Oh well, that's the worst thing that happens today. It's not going to be a bad day. Jeepers, that that, uh, that was handy. <laughs> I must uh, I must get a lottery ticket. There's uh, there's another car behind there, and the the lorry's now having to uh, reverse back. We just met the the one point on this road where we can actually pass. So, what was a bad thing or thought was a bad thing, that little tractor pulling out in front of me, turned out to be a good thing. So, you never know, do you? Because I suppose I could crash just around the corner and go down the <laughs> down the sheer drop there. Sliding doors. So nice car inside now. Again, I'm I'm just sorry I can't show you it at its best, but you can see what the the conditions are like out there. It is nice, it is a nice car, it looks good. It's a good colour combination, the metallic blue and uh, black leather upholstery. It's comfortable, it's been well looked after. Three services, I think, in 30,000 miles. All the extras and the options on that you, you would want. 
or I would want anyway, except for lane departure warning. And uh, all good. Oh, gosh, an you know, oyster catcher there. Th those oyster catchers, whenever I fly my drone around here, the oyster catchers attack it. They must, I don't know. Well, I don't know why they attack it. Right, sorry, I forgot to show you this. I'm probably going to get drenched now. There you go, tilt and slide. Let's just put it in the blind not all the way back. Yep, yep, it's raining. So that's the sunroof. That's the blind which I'll put forward. As you can see, in my opinion anyway, with a, with a blind shut it makes it uh, quite claustrophobic in here. But, um, lovely car. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video. Oh, if you like BMs, we've got a few in now. We've got an X1, an X5, an X6, a 5 Series, and we've also got 3 Series Touring. So give our website a, a quick glance, it's uh, www.com ggcars.co.uk. See you in the next video. Ta-da.